Hey Geeks, Tim Tibbetts here with MajorGeeks.com and today we're going to take a look at a program called Junkware Removal Tool. It is a completely portable application. You simply double click it to run it. And I'd like to show you a little bit about the program because it's a bit of a leap of faith. If you run this program, you're at a DOS prompt in administrative mode and you want to be I don't want to say careful, but you really kind of want to know what you're doing when you want to run it. Its main job is to scan for pups, some programs that were added to your software, browser hijacks and stuff like that. Once you hit enter on this thing, it's going to start with a registry backup and it's going to start doing different scans, including your web browsers, ah, your processes, your services, stuff like that. It's going to take a while. This is a fast computer with a fairly clean install that I intentionally infected to show you on this app. But most computers, I would think you're probably going to, you could be 10 or 20 minutes running it. So you really want to kind of know what you're doing. When it gets done, it'll show you a log file of everything you did. The question becomes, do you run it before or do you run it after you try and uninstall this stuff? Because all the programs were still there when I finished running, it still needed to be uninstalled. It fixes the problem. It doesn't take all the problem away, but it's a nice little niche tool for text to play around with. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this video here as it goes through the startup, the processes, because we still have to do the browsers, some other stuff, and I don't want the video to run five minutes long. So hang in there and we'll come right back when the scan is complete. And five minutes later we are back and we have the log file up. As you can see we have this list of services, registry values, registry keys, files, folders, everything that it removed. Now, as I mentioned before, the question is whether you run this before or run it after, because as you can see, my browser remains hijacked. Now you can also look under here. As I said, I did a real nice job uh, infecting my machine. <laughs> it's kind of fun to do when you can just goof off like that. AnySend, FileFrog, Games Desktop, Genio, Imminent, Imminent Toolbar, iWebBar, uh, Open Software Updater, Sense Plus, Shopper Pro, Start Point, whatever that is. And all this came off of MassTube. Uh, two, two installs of that added all this garbage. So you're probably going to want to use an uninstaller, remove this stuff, and then at that point you would probably want to pull out Junkware and do it again so that you can make sure once you've removed everything it actually gets it all there. Everything's probably locked right now. Once again, the main reason I'm telling you about this is if somebody told you to run this program, you really want to know what you're doing with it. It has a niche use and it's a really good tool, but you want to use it in the proper spot and know what you're doing. So there's too many people out there just telling everybody, go run this, go run that, it'll take care of your problem. And, and that's kind of a cop out from somebody who wants to uh, wants to help you, has good intentions, but either way I would consider removing everything with something like iobit uninstaller and then come back around, run this again and make sure that you've gotten rid of all the files, the folders, the registry entries, the processes, the services, because these things can come back on you if you don't do it right. But just to give you an idea of how Junkware Removal Tool looks, how it runs, I know a lot of people aren't familiar with DOS prompts, your screen will flicker on most times when you do this, so it can be a little intimidating. Uh, if you're not ready for this, you might want to do a malware byte scan in advance and then maybe come back around to this later. Again, sometimes it takes numerous tools to get the job done. That's where Junkware Removal Tool comes in. It's not necessarily an all-in-one removal tool. you got to know you need it. But if you need it, down below in the description of the video is a link to download it. And as always, we really appreciate you guys watching our videos, and we will see you next time.